guys. Sorry about the noises. We got a fan over there. We got a laundry going. Anyway, uh, a little bit more work on the wheel. Um, as you can see, I basically had to pin out uh, how I was going to set the aviation plug. Uh, eventually, what I'll do is I will run some shrink wrap over this uh, taped region here and shrink it. Uh, this part down here, or the plug itself, has been potted on the pin side. That way, it doesn't uh, they don't rip out. I'm um, leaving the fit one of the phase wires out, obviously, um, and also I left the um, temp wire that's going up to the meter. I left that out. This will be mounted like this. Um, the extra long RC leads here, that is for the fan power in the uh, hub itself that's going over to the, um, the fuse box that I just finished mounting in the box, in the uh, frame. Uh, last year I had issues with this falling off, so I used shoe glue, a shoe goo and uh, mounted it right directly to the frame. I can still remove it if I have to, but it's not going to remove anytime soon. And I won't leave a lot of goop on the frame, obviously, because it's shoe goo. But this will make a nice, clean setup for where I can run the wires and run 12 volt leads off. One's going to be for the backlight, obviously. Uh, the regulator will go up here, and then the, the, the main leads for the regulator will come down into the fuse box and then distribute it to the bike. Uh, just makes for a cleaner setup. And if I do have issues with something shorting, it doesn't take out the whole electrical system, it just takes out a fuse which is pretty sweet and it's already been tested it works um, yeah so that lead there will be coming around down here and then into the fuse box as well as eventually when I get the back hub that will be set up the same way as this one with the fans and then that'll be run into here as well um, I was gonna sh actually show you how to do this one thing I really hate about uh, hull wires is the little this little container here, this little plug, these are like the worst things you can get for e-bikes or use on e-bikes, but I'm surprised I still use them. They, they don't fit very tight, they fit loosely, they get moisture in them, or they just freaking fall apart. So what I do is I basically take the pin out and shrink wrap the end of it, and then what you can do is you just basically just push it right into your um, hall socket. Um, and it's an open air, so if it does get wet it dries fast. Uh, but, and also, it also gets rid of this clunky case that it comes with. It's pretty easy to do, actually. Uh, the pin's basically got a barb on the side of it that sticks out, and when you push the pin in, it locks, and it basically you can't get it out. So what you do is you take a small uh, jewelry screwdriver and bend that barb straight, so the pin's straight, and then you can just pull it right out, which I actually will show you how to do it. So I get a lot of people saying that I repeat what, I, what I'm doing sometimes in my videos, but not everybody sees these videos, so each video, and they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't catch this every time. So basically what you're going to do is find that you can, if you look really close in there, you can see where the pin is. You're going to push on it like that, and then you should be able to just pull it out. And then what you can do is push on the pin again, and um, it's just a barb like that and then what you do is you just basically push it back in if you have to put it back together and it locks it won't come out so basically all I do to make those plugs that I got there is I basically pull this pin out solder it to the wire and then I just take some shrink wrap and uh, just uh, shrink wrap the end that way um, okay so that doesn't want to come out That way, it won't. Uh, if it gets bent over, it won't short. Oh God! Well, let me get one of these out, and then we'll uh, set it up. Yeah. So this one actually, um, hope we can see that the red broke off a while ago. So basically, what I did is I just basically shoved it in the um, in the connector, and uh, it's held up for a year like that. But uh, I've been using mostly. I've been using the hulls. I haven't been using the halls. I've been using um, self-learning. It's not bad. It does have some limitations though when it comes to high speed. And uh, you'll you'll see when you uh, try setting one up that's over-bolted. It uh, acts a little weird. 
Anyway, let's uh, get some solder on that. Yes, yeah, so not much has been actually going on with the bike. I've been doing slowly, obviously putting it back together. But um, I have a huge order at the end of the month. And it's going to be batteries, oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, big bullet connection connectors for the um, phrase wires so I can finish that off. Um, I'm hoping, with that warm up, I'm hoping that uh, I can get this huge controller on the front of the bike somewhere. Either set it as a gas tank or set it on the side. That way the wheel and the controller are separate from the back because I don't, I don't want, I want to even out the weight because this con controller weighs a ton as it is. Then I want to have two battery packs on each side of the bike. It's going to be extra weight. Um, I find when you get too much weight on the back of this bike, it does, well, obviously, like any anything, when you overload it, it starts to feel unsafe. But that's a lot of weight. I mean, I've carried air conditioners with this bike in a rainstorm, and it's it made it home, no problem. That's why I like this bike. I don't want to get rid of it. It actually is a legitimate cargo bike. And it's been tested fully. If I had to build another one, I'd copy the same design. This is that good. Should make more than one. Actually. Anyway, so you find a piece of uh, shrink tubing that'll go over that. Find my lighter. Oh, and I don't know if I have anything bigger than that. I think, think so. This is the other thing that's going to be on order. It's all I got left is this odd size of heat tubing. I rarely use this stuff, or this size anyway. All the big ones are gone. Try that. Yeah, like I said, you just want to shrink wrap the end of it. Um, obviously, because if it gets bent over in, in transit, it won't uh, short out. There. By the time you push it in the sockets, if I can show you how it would go in, this pretty much goes for any controller. You can see that? I uh, just push it in like that. By the time it sits in there, you can see it's pretty much flush with the with the uh, plug itself, so it's totally safe, and it eliminates the um, the clunky um, connector. Like these are the worst. Anybody who works with e bikes knows this. Uh, that's about it, guys. Um, hopefully, in the next couple of days, I'm going to start rewiring the back end. It's a it's a mess. I'm going to try and fish the wires through the frame itself should be able to do it obviously I'm not gonna make a video of it because it's boring as hell and then um, when more parts come in we'll uh, finish the wheel mount the controller and uh, set it up and see if we can test it make sure it's the front end of the bike is done anyway and then we have to do that all over again for the back once I order the motor fun and uh, as you can see nothing's happening with the batteries uh, I, I need about $400 worth of batteries and I've already have it worked out. I have a job that I'm going to be doing to uh, pick them up. Anyway, take it easy, stay safe, stay unsick, <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one.